Hi, it's Sean here from Walker Tong D. Today we're not talking about bolts, we're talking about water supply systems for the house. Now here in Thailand, the water supply from the city gets interrupted every couple of days and you go without water. So I got this tank, the pressure switch, and this pump, and I have it wired up so we can use it just like we would use city water. It's got an automatic switch and a pump, and I'm going to show you how it works. So first thing you need is a tank. We got a 5,000 liter tank here that I, had, that I had up on the farm. We weren't using it. And so what we do is we got the water supply coming from the city. And it goes up and it fills the tank from the top. Where it has a ball valve very similar to the one you have in your toilet tank. And it keeps it full as long as there's city water supply. And then when the city water supply gets cut off due to main break in the street or whatever. We can use the water in the tank. And it will last about a week or maybe more. I'm not really sure. Anyhow, this is the tank, and you got a little valve down here. This is the water supply for the tank, and uh, normally it'll be open, and the city's water supply is used. And uh, when it isn't used, you turn the valve closed, and then you go to your water uh, meter, and you shut that off as well. That way, uh, when you use your pump here, you're not pumping water to your neighbor's house. So this is the outlet from the tank. This is just a similar outlet that you'd find anywhere. And then uh, you have a valve, a little red handle there. That's a shutoff valve to the water coming out of the tank. And if you look and see that little brass piece there, that's a check valve. If you don't have the check valve, the pressure switch is not going to work correctly. It's good, the motor is going to be turning off and on, off and on, and it won't stop. So when you put the check valve in, it balances the water pressure out. And this is a check valve that's meant to be used in a horizontal position, which means it has a little spring in there to assist it. It's very cheap. So you got a shutoff valve, the check valve, and a pipe going into the pump. Now this is a very cheap pump. It's only cost about fifty dollars U.S. and um, it works. It works good enough. And the next thing you're going to see here is the pressure switch. Now most people get really intimidated by this pressure switch. Uh, there's no reason for it and they say oh uh, there's electricity involved I gotta get an electrician well you don't have to get an electrician unless you don't want to tackle it and maybe you should in that case get an electrician but it's very simple I hope you can see it here but you see it's got four wire connections just two of them come from the, the power supply and the other two go to the motor and they're all marked so just two wires in two wires out to the motor and then you hook it on to the uh, water supply going to your house from the tank just a little fitting here on a T and what this uh, pressure switch does is when it notices a drop in the pressure uh, like you open the valve and the water comes starts coming out it turns the motor on and when you close the faucet the pressure gets equalized and it turns off it's a very simple device but it's complicated so what happens, uh, you put the, hook this up and you get ready and you use it and you turn it on and then uh, you have to adjust it. So the way you adjust it is you adjust it when the pump's running. So you open a valve, the pump starts running, everything's fine. Then you shut the valve off and the motor keeps on running. So what do you do? See that little bolt there? There's a bolt there and a bolt here. Well, you just keep messing around with those things until it works right. Screw them in, screw them out, and then eventually you'll get it. So when you open the valve, the pump comes on, you close the valve, and the pump goes off. I could tell you how to adjust it, but it's not going to help. You just keep on screwing, open and close on those things, and you'll get the idea what to do. It's not rocket science. And that's basically it, except for uh, going to the house. And this is a half-inch water supply. And it just hooks on in our garden to where our garden faucet is. It doesn't matter where you hook it on. So hook it on to some place that's convenient. And this place was convenient for us. Now, <laughs> I must apologize here because you see the pipe here is, it's kind of not right, you know. I didn't do that good of a job. I used the parts that I found around the house. I didn't go out and buy anything. Everything you see here is what we had laying around the house. We had the pump on the farm, and I did buy the check valve. We had the tank and everything. 
And you might notice that uh, this is a half inch diameter pipe. Well, in Thailand, they frequently use half inch diameter pipe. One of the reasons is, is that the city water supply is uh, not capable of supplying a lot of water. So they want everybody to use half inch diameter pipe. And that's okay because, uh, you know, you don't really need much more than that. In uh, Western countries, they use one inch and, uh, you know, it's kind of wasteful. Half inch supplies enough water for us. I'm sure it would for anybody else. And uh, also over here, they don't use copper pipe. They use all PVC pipe. And uh, this would not be cold anywhere in the Western world, of course. And like I say, it's kind of haphazardly put together. I could have did a better job. But the thing is, it works. And when you open the faucet up, the water comes out. And you close the faucet, the water stops. And all you have to do is make sure you have your water meter shut off so the neighbor doesn't get water. That's about it. I just wanted to show you my setup. Maybe you can use it. Maybe you want to save rainwater. And this is a way you could supply rainwater to your house using a pump. And there's nothing to do. You don't got to plug in the pump. You just plug it in and you leave it and you open the faucet and close it as needed. This is Sean from Walker Town D. Hope this video was informative. Thanks a lot. See you on the water.